Hello and welcome to our mini lesson on variable expressions. Today we're going to look at different sample questions that should be similar to the mini or to the quizzes that you'll see. The first question is that we're going to substitute and solve for for these equations. Okay, we're going to solve for x is equal to 1. So what that means is in each of these questions we're just going to do what we call substitution. We're just going to substitute this 1 in for every place that we see x. All right? So in this case, the question will then turn into, and I know this seems like a really simple question, but I wanted to kind of start off easy. Okay? This question will turn into, instead of x plus 2, it will turn into 1 plus 2. All right? We're just substituting the 1 in for x, and 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 in my math class. All right? If you had a different math teacher, it might change. I don't know, but Anyway, <laughs> all right, and so for our next one, we do the same thing. We substitute in 1 for x, and it becomes 1 plus 3, which is equal to 4, okay? I know you know that 1 plus 3 is 4, but I just want to show you here. And for our final one, we will then change that into 1 plus 4, which is equal to 5, that's right, okay? So this is the way that we are going to be doing this. Every time you say x is equal to 1, essentially all we're going to be doing is plugging in value of 1 everywhere you see x. Okay, and let's look at some questions that are a little bit more challenging. Here's the first type of question. When you have a number right next to the variable x, okay, when you substitute in that value of 2 right in there, it is implied that you are actually multiplying those two numbers. All right, so this is like saying 4 times 2, and it can be written like this with the parentheses, okay, 4 times 2, or it could be written 4 with a dot in between four, the 4 and the 2, but either way, we're substituting the value of x is equal to 2, just the same as we did in the last one. We just plug the 2 right into the equation, 4 times 2 is equal to 8, all right? So in this next one, it will be 3 and we are, we're substituting in the value of 2 for x, so 3 times 2 plus 1, all right? So again, we're, we're making ourselves have a little bit longer of a question here, but 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is equal to 7. Okay, let me write that in there, 7. Okay, and we do have to do order of operations here, so this is multiplication first and then addition second, so that's the order that we're doing it. In this case, we have two x's here inside of the equation, so our, what our equation is going to look like in the next line is two times, and we substitute the value two in for x, plus one, minus, and again, we're going to substitute in the value of two for x. Okay, so you see that x is equal to 2 from up here, so we plug 2 in every place we see x, so 2 times x plus 1 minus 2, all right? And we're going to use the order of operations, so we do multiplication first, 2 times 2 is equal to 4, everything else can remain the same, so we'll have 4 plus 1 minus 2. There we go. And now, because we have just addition and subtraction, we can complete this question. 4 plus 1 is 5, minus 2 is equal to 3. All right. Again, our questions are going to become a little bit more complicated here we're going to have an x and a y, all right? So x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, and we're just going to plug in the numbers just like we did before. So where you see an x, you put in 2. Where you see a y, you put in a 3. All right, so what we have is 2 plus 3 minus 2. All right, and 2 plus 3 is 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. All right. So there's the final answer for that question. We're going to do this one, which is kind of the most complicated thing we'll see here. We're going to substitute 2 in for x, 
All right, so it's 2 times 2. And and then we're adding on, sorry, 4 times our value for y, which is 3. All right, so we substituted in 2 for x, y is 3 for y, so we have 2 times 2 and 4 times 3. And we can do both of those at the same time here. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, so I did it underneath here. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, and I solved my minus 5. And now I can add them all together. 4 plus 12 is 16, minus 5 is equal to 11. Okay, and I guess we could, if we're going to do this, we could just get rid of um, the equal sign here. I'm just going to make it look the way it should look here. There. Okay, so I just did it kind of cascading down instead of going straight across. All right, so 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, minus 5, and then 4 plus 12 minus 5 is equal to 11. All right, now for the last page of equations, we will let x equal 4 and y equal 7. We're going to do this exact same thing where we're going to plug in the values, and this is using fractions. So, I am going to not write them anymore, but I'm going to kind of write them in using a pen here. All right, so 7 times, and I'm changing my value of x for 4, so 4, all divided by 7, okay? So I can do my multiplication first, say 28 divided by 7, which is equal to 4, okay? Again, all I've done is substituted x equals 4, y equals 7 right into the equation. 7 times 4 is 28, and 28 divided by 7, or 28 over 7, is equal to 4, okay? Now, for this question, I'm going to do the same thing, okay? 3, and I'm going to substitute in my x value of 4, 3 times 4, plus 2, all over 7. Okay, so first I'm going to do the top part, and then I'm going to take care of the fraction afterwards. All right, so 3 times 4 is 12. There we go. Kind of running out of space here, but that's all right. So 12 plus 2 divided by 7. And we can go ahead and say 12 plus 2 is 14 divided by 7, okay, and 14 over 7, or the fraction of 14 over 7, is the same as saying 14 divided by 7, so we can just solve that, 14 divided by 7 is 2, okay, so that is your mini lesson for today, I hope it's been helpful, um, sorry it was almost 10 minutes long, but um, those sample questions should help prepare you for the questions that you'll see on the quiz. I hope that this has been helpful. Again, you can watch it over and over. You can slow it down. You can do whatever you want. Use it in any way that, that you want. Have a great day, and I'll see you again tomorrow.